Hello everyone, it's DA here. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you are doing amazing. So then we're taking a look at the Stoba, and the Stoba is a small critical side armor you see the Grenier carrying lately, and this is all because it came in with the new Ghouls update. Now as small as this thing is, as tiny as it is, it carries a lot of weight as well because it is also quite very good. Now it carries a lot of things that I will call the fun factor, mainly because we have three different groups in Warframe when it comes to weapon strategy. There are those who like a weapon mainly because it looks good. There are those who like a weapon mainly because it looks fun or it feels fun, feels fun to use and feels amazing to have fun with. And there are also the top elite or a little variation of players who like a weapon because it deals a lot of damage. Now the Stoba, however, in this case has a little bit of all those three categories because it deals a lot of damage, maybe for mid tier to low levels. And it also looks good and also feels fun to play with. It comes with a very, really good Riven Disposition, a low mastery weapon, which is also great. That means you can get it at an early stage in Warframe. 6.3 fire rate, 1.3 reload speed, and a 21% critical chance, and also a 13% status chance. Now, because we already have a lot of powerful side arms in Warframe right now, my great reason for using this weapon only comes from the sound and the way it feels. Now, this sidearm sounds a little bit like an old Vesper engine. I'm from Nigeria. We have a lot of those machines and they still run from the old days. And this brings back a little bit of a nostalgic feeling. And that is why I love it so much. Now, forget about the low ammo efficiency about this weapon. Forget about the low status. The style of this weapon will be what will make you feel good and also enjoy using it. It also kind of reminds me of the Needler from Halo and also some of the other sidearms from Halo as well. Now, I know some of you see what I mean. So you can see some of the really good and iconic looks from it as well. Now, it drops from the Grenier Ghoul's Bounty mission as a reward. It can drop in any of the levels. And what you can do is you get the blueprint and you can go on and get some of the items to build them. Now, if you don't want to play the bounty, maybe because your PC cannot handle it or maybe the planes is a little bit rough for you, then you can go ahead and buy it for 190 plats. But if you still want to journey in, you don't want to spend plats on it, and your PC still cannot handle it, then what you can do is just journey into the planes, stand in one spot, and have your teammates do the rest, and hopefully you'll be able to get those items as well. Now, as small as it is, the fire rate and slash also makes the crits do a little bit of a damage. Now, this is not something that I will say deals a lot of damage when it comes to high levels, but when it comes to mid-tier to low levels, this is where it really shines the most. Anything below level 50 or level 45, this is where you really get to enjoy and start seeing the intensity of this weapon. Now, taking this weapon against high levels can be also quite promising, but I would say don't push your luck for it because the ammo efficiency on this weapon is really bad and you will end up emptying an entire clip on just one heavy gunner and that heavy gunner is still standing right there. So you might want to avoid that and just use your primary instead. I'll also advise you to bring a carrier with you mainly because of that ammo preset mod and that will also help you a lot. Now when it comes to modding this weapon, there is not really a big logic about it. You can just mod it how you want. I put in three former on here and this is where I believe the limit is. I have a lot of those dual stat mods on it and I do a little bit of a damage. When it comes to level 100, I can take him down in maybe one clip or maybe a clip and a half and that is basically pushing it. But I will say starting from level 50 and below, this is where the sweet spot is and this is where you will really enjoy this weapon. Now overall, this is not a bad weapon, but it is also not the best. There are several weapons in the game that will beat this. However, at a mastery rank 5, I believe it does some justice for that mastery requirement. Now if you're new to Warframe, you just started yesterday, maybe you started last week, this is a great starter sidearm for you and I encourage you to get it, try it out. It is going to give you a lot of fun factor, you will enjoy it a lot and also it will deal a lot of damage as well. Now let me know what you guys think about this weapon, let me know what you think about the modding setup and also if you will be picking one out and what you have done with yours so far. If you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel for more Warframe. And as always, it is DS signing out. I'll see you guys in the next one.